Welcome back to Watkins Glen International in Watkins Glen, New York, the NASCAR Camping World East Series. Right now, it's been Mark Davis and Matt Kovalev, but there's our pole sitter, Antonio Perez, out of Mexico City, who's made a way up through the field. Yeah, all the way back to the sixth spot. I think he would like to see a caution flag to be able to close this gap up a little bit. But Mark Davis has done such a nice job, young driver, and you know he doesn't have a, a, a great deal of experience in these type of cars on a road course. Because he ran Lime Rock last year, I would right. think, in the Camping World East Series. Jeffrey Earnhardt, he ran his first road course in Lime Rock a year ago. The Dale Earnhardt Foundation Chevrolet. DEI has three cars in this race, Trevor Bain, Jeffrey Earnhardt, and Jesus Hernandez. There's Matt Kobluff currently being shown in the second position. Mark Davis continues to lead. There's Steve Park, that waste management Chevrolet running third right now. And you know, those three cars have really established themselves now as the cars to beat, the three that have dominated most of the day-to-day -day for the early going when Antonio Perez, the pole sitter, was out front. And if he could somehow get amongst those four. I think he's going to need a caution flag, though. I don't think he's going to be able to make up the ground he's lost by his late pit stop unless we get a caution flag to bunch the field back up. The car that Steve Park is driving. They had some struggles a year ago. It's not as well-funded as Kovalux or Mark Davis's. Eric Holmes drove that car much of last year, a West Coast driver. Steve's had some good runs in that car. He had a top 10 the last time out at South Boston. He's up at the top three or four positions at points. Well, he's made a big difference to that team, and the guys who are on the crew will be the first to tell you. Saw a bit of debris on the racetrack. It looked like Jeffrey Earnhardt hit it coming off the outer loop down there. Doesn't appear to have done any damage to that car. Matt Kovalev staying right with Mark Davis in that 18 Slim Jim Toyota. How would you like to get a phone call if you're a race car driver? As you see, Mark Davis gets hard on the brakes and the yeah. rear end twitch a little bit. Joe Gibbs, you know, say, how about uh, how about coming, joining my driver development program? Well, Mark Davis said it was the greatest day of his life when he got that phone call, and he's hoping to turn it into something. What you don't want is to get that chance, then not make your dream happen. And Mark Davis, who has not won yet in this series, is knows that uh, this is the year he really needs to make a mark, and I think he's shown something today on this road course for sure. He sure has. There's Max Dumouray. Max holds down the fifth position. There's look how hard Perez is driving right behind Dumouray. He really wants to get back towards the front. He knows he's running out of time. He's got to get by the 16 car of Dumouray to see if he can chase down these front four cars. Very few mistakes up front there. Mark Davis is on a pretty flawless race. Perez now running in sixth. Steve Park looked to the inside for just a moment. Turn number 11 on Matt Kovalev, not quite able to make the move. So far, nobody making mistakes anywhere in that top six. Mark Davis has opened up two or three car length lead on Matt Kovalev. Perez not able to do anything with Max Dumouray at this point. Max Dumouray, the driver out of Ghent, Belgium, still just a teenager. Obvious Perez has an awfully good car, but so does Max Dumouray. You mentioned earlier that Mike Olsen owns that car. Mike, a champion in this series over the years. There he goes. There goes Perez to the inside. And Perez is able to make the pass. He got by Steve Park and Max Dumouray. Steve must have had some sort of a problem. Boy, Steve Park's car has just gone away on him, and it went away in a hurry. He's losing another position right there to Rogelio Lopez. Kovalec stays right with Mark Davis, but no Steve Park. Jeffrey's position, third position. Hart has been impressive today. To, to 
today. Yeah, so there's two us, Trevor Bain, hey Bain, hey Zeus Hernandez, the one in the 11. There's Steve Parker right there, that white car obviously trying to limp his way to pit road. Not sure exactly what the problem is. Ricky Carmichael goes by, and there goes Steve Park to pit road. Steve Park is in trouble. It's awfully late. It looks like the rear tires are up. Can't really see the front tires. Well, let's go down to Derek. See if he has an answer. Derek? Steve Park brings the number 35 waste management Dodge Charger to the attention of the pit crew. They got a left front flat tire. They're actually taking a practice tire from earlier yesterday to put on the car as a spare. A tough break for Steve Park. He was running third when the flat happened. That was a horrible break for Steve Park. You saw at the base of the windshield a little bit of water squirting out of the overflow. There's Perez right there. Trying to make his move towards the front. He got by the eight of There's Jeff a car, a lot of smoke. Oh, Max, Max Dumeray. What a horrible break. What a good run he had going. Looks like a blown engine for Max Dumeray, the youngster from Belgium. I think this is going to bring out the caution. It's exactly what Perez wanted. There's Mark Davis right there. Matt Kovalov is running one, two. They're still racing. Caution's like not out yet. Sure looked like that Max Dumouriez car would have put something down on the racetrack. There is the caution, and that's Steve Park right in front of those two cars. Steve will be able to run all the way back around the racetrack and rejoin this field at the tail end. That is a huge break for the driver of car 35, Steve Park, as he was just about to go a lap down. Meanwhile, Max Dumouriez sits parked in the middle of the racetrack. Yeah, that's right, uh, right outside the inner loop. Bit of a runoff area there. He went straight instead of going into Interloop. That's a good place to park. No sense riding all the way around the racetrack and putting any fluid down. Yeah, that engine is done for the day. And you see the wind of that going down. Dumarais ran in the top five all day. Look at yeah, look underneath the car. You're right. There's a bunch of fluid, but it's not going to be on the race course itself. There's Mark Davis, our leader, approaching the inner loop. Caution flag out all over the racetrack. Matt Kobluck runs second. Perez is now up to third. Wow, so you know what? I think the top three cars are now one, two, and three. I think Kobluck, Davis, Perez, along with Jeffrey Earnhardt, are going to battle it out. 